guy here, I gave a blowjobs to a beautiful trans girl, with a 9 inch cock, and I don't want to go back to anything besides that now. I prefer to blow a woman that eat her out now. I hooked up with a beautiful trans woman who escorts in a country near mine and when she visits the area I always meet her to fulfill my kink need of desiring to suck dry beautiful and hung women. I have a total weak spot for this. I am also attracted to cis women very much, but I feel most sexually attracted to trans women like this, yet, I know they are not super common obviously, however, I am totally infatuated with the woman I have been hooking up with. She fulfills this deep lust I have that doesn't get my itch scratched with cis women like it does with her. I crave deep throating her and feeling my nose press on her tummy. I love the struggle of taking her whole and seeing her eyes light up and I power my way fueled by submissive lust to prove how much I want to please her. She is covered in many tats and looks like a total queen in high heels. I think about her more than any other woman because of how into her I am. I stole my friend's Gengar in Pokemon the day before he moved. So basically in 5th grade one had this one friend who played Pokemon, like 70% of my school also does, and these were also the days when Game Boy Advance was popular. He told me and our other friends that he was gonna move houses. Nothing financial. His family just wanted to get out of there, lol. Anyway young me saw this as an opportunity to steal his Haunter which will evolve into Gengar if you trade it to another Game Boy. Usually kids in my school swap and return each other's Haunter, so therefore both of them have Gengar so it was a win-win for both. I thought that maybe I could get my own Gengar if he handed his Haunter to my Caterpie. When our classes ended, I saw him in the classroom playing some Pokemon a little bit before he left. I asked him if he wanted to evolve his Haunter and I would return it after the trade. We did it then I quickly unplugged his game link cable and booked it. He chased me while yelling, Hey, you Kadesra, what are you doing? Hold on. And I ended up running to my bike and biking away to my house. His house was decently far to mine so I did not worry about him going over to my house, considering he's gonna move. I got the Gengar and when I went to school he was gone now. Calvin, if you recognize this. Sorry for doing that, you were a cool guy. Sorry if younger me was a dick, sorry. I used to steal from my schoolmates. I would go around and take things from their bags or pencil cases. When I walked around class or school, if I saw something I liked, I would wait until the item was unattended and steal it. Of course, not if it was in plain sight. When I was in elementary school, Someone from the first session of school left their Geronimo Stilton Phoenix book and it was huge, it was also the only thing I wanted to get my hands on then. My young 7 year old ass managed to steal the whole big freaking thing. I still have it in my attic, and I managed to make everyone forget about it. To this day, my parents, friends, or family know that I stole it. It's good to get it off my chest. But that's only one of the many things I stole. If I were to list them out, it would take way too long. Besides, the book theft was the biggest thing I stole. I stole a lot then, and 7 years old me stole a huge book, years later, no one still knows. I kept the display tablets at Target instead of destroying them. I was in charge of fixtures and displays. When we changed over the display tablets I had orders to destroy them. I took all three nice Samsung tablets home, wiped the demo software, and used them for myself and family. I also signed paperwork assuring that I disposed of them in the trash. In high school, I used someone else's ID number to get free lunch and breakfast. I knew a kid who never ate breakfast but was on free meal program. So he let me use his number to get breakfast. Meanwhile I knew another who never ate lunch so I just toggled between the two. Not sure how it is now but back then you were just assigned a number to tell the cashier, otherwise you paid in cash. I don't think we had any kind of prepay plan for parents to use. So I just kept my lunch money and saved it up to buy other stuff. Being in a poor, industrial town, most of the other kids at my school that had to pay for their lunch usually skipped it and hanged out in the hall choosing to do so because there wasn't a lot of opportunities for a teen to obtain a job. 
Meaning lunch money was often their only income to buy cigarettes or whatever. So it was a luxury to be able to eat with the poorer kids without paying. Like the episode, and smash the subscribe button.